A lot of people come to my website wondering what Reiki is and is it something they should learn about or is it something they should do? Despite having been a Reiki practitioner for several years, uh, nearly seven years for me at this point, um, I sometimes find it's hard to tell people exactly what it is. And it's been a little bit funny because for a lot of folks, they think, how can you talk about it so much, but you can't tell me exactly what it is. So in this video, I'll try to give a brief introduction of what Reiki is, but I will also encourage you, if you have not already, to sign up for my newsletter or to have a look at some of my blog posts where I can tell you a little bit more in writing as well as the uh, podcast, the Art of Healing podcast. Um, the healing art of Reiki is a, a healing system that operates very differently from what most of us are used to in the Western world, uh, which is traditional medicine. So it's subtle energy. It relies only on the transfer of energy through a healer. Um, it can also be performed on yourself. If you learn Reiki, you can actually treat yourself. And it is simply the channeling of positive energy to where it needs to go, which allows the area to heal on its own. So that's a rough description. Um, again, not the complete description unless you've had a session or you've learned it and treat it yourself. Um, it can be a very hard concept to learn. Um, sometimes the way I'll describe it to people is um, everything we do has intention, um, whether you know it or not. So for instance, if you're in a conversation with another person, probably you have an intention to communicate a meaning. Or uh, for instance, if you're driving and you want to make a right turn and you turn on your blinker, you have a meaning you're trying to convey an intention, which is to let the drivers know behind you that you're signaling to go to the right. So when we send or share our energy, and we realize that it has intention, that can be really positive because then you can actually relay positive intention one way or the other. Um, and of course, it's a little scary because if we're not thinking very well or we maybe speak too clearly or, you know, if you're having a bit of road rage, um, there's intention there too. It's not always so good, but that intention goes out as well. So in the practice of Reiki, the, the, uh, the, the channeler, the liver, the, tr the healer um, is operating on the highest intention or the highest good. And that's how we know that it helps to keep both the healer safe, but then also get the most benefit to the receiver is that operating at the highest good. You can send healing energy or channel energy without any kind of training. And there are lots of people who do this naturally. They do it all the time. They're born with a gift. Um, one thing that the way that I see it that I often tell people is that um, with the training in Reiki, it helps to train your mind. It's some mind training so that when you're in that space or you're deciding you want to help someone, you have some some precepts, some concepts in your brain that help you stay focused and stay on track and to, again, bring the best intention to what it is that you're doing. So um, if you are curious, if you are wanting to learn more, I have three main avenues you can do that if you want to learn more here. Um, definitely um, have a look at the tab that says blog. Um, you'll see some articles there that describe Reiki, how it can be used, where it can be used. Um, then you'll also see a tab that shows the Art of Healing podcast. If you click there, you will see podcasts that you can stream just from the website. You can also go to Google Podcasts where you can directly download any of the episodes if you'd like to listen more. Thank you so much for your time. If you want to stay in touch, please sign up for my newsletter below. Thank you.